Hello and welcome to Flippin' Through, the internet's number one Mad Magazine news, review, and interview channel. And today I'm doing a little bit of an unboxing. I was greeted today at my mailbox, which this is like a week ago now, uh, from when I'm actually posting this. Uh, I was greeted today by a package in my mailbox sent from none other than uh, Noah, Noah Van Skyver. Um, all the way down and oh yeah good I removed his address by now anyway uh, Noah Van Skyver sent me a package with some Mad Magazine stuff in it apparently um, he'd actually reached out this wasn't like a surprise or <laughs> he reached out to me uh, via email and he uh, he said hey I got some Mad I think Mad Magazines um, and he just sent them on over to me. So um, I'm pretty excited. I don't know what the contents of this are, but I figured I may as well get a video out of it. So uh, before I switch over to the overhead camera, if you don't know who Noah Van Skyver is, you can check out my interview with him uh, where we talked about his time at MAD and some of the things that he has been up to lately. And uh, actually, while I'm at it, why don't I go right now to this because this is his latest book. It is Please Don't Step on My Jinko Jeans. Uh, this is a paperback book released by Fantagraphics, a mere $15. This is a collection of stories. What does it say here? Um, the description on the website is, Eisner nominee Van Skyver returns with a collection of hilarious and poignant short comic stories. From 2017 to 2019, cartoonist Noah Van Skyver was creating short stories and illustrations for local magazines and alt-weeklies in order to serve what he calls a personal survival mechanism. All of these comics are collected for the first time in Please Don't Step on My Jinko Jeans. When do you know you're too old to trick and treat? What's the best way to effectively dispose of those teenage ode-filled journals? Where do cherished cereal box prices go when you grow up? Jinko jeans, mostly through told through uh, one pagers, holds observations, reflections, and breakthroughs from one of the most prolific and inspirational cartoonists of his generation. Uh, and he really is prolific. I have a few of his books, uh, One Dirty Tree and Fonte Bukowski. Um, both, oh man both of which I highly recommend. And maybe I'll show off again at the end of this video. But right now, let's switch to the overhead view. All right, so here are the two books of uh, Noah Van Skyvers that I own already. Uh, I mentioned these uh, just a few moments ago. One Dirty Tree, this is autobiographical. And Fonte Bukowski, this is a work of fiction centering around one Fonte Bukowski. Bukowski, who is a, a rather insufferable person. Um, but this is uh, one that I'm actually currently reading. Um, it's three books put together into one collection. And this one I've read all the way through. And um, I mean, this one's a really, with it being autobiographical, it's a really powerful story. Um, this one is just very fun to read and very kind of short um, segments. They're not exactly chapters, but you, they have uh, good breaking points uh, if you don't want to read it straight through. Anyway, uh, so let's let's crack into this thing. Let's see what's up. Look at Maybe I shouldn't be so cavalier. I'm going to like slice something cool in half. Uh, this is pretty uh, good reusing of All right, here we go. Ooh, I think this looks familiar right here. Is that, yeah, okay, I didn't leave anything in there. That's an old sticker. All right, so can you know, Can you tell me what cover this is based on the back cover? I think this is, I don't know what it is. Ooh, look at Mad number 65. Do I have this one? I have to check. This is a, this is an awesome one, 25 cents. Which is indeed cheap. Quid me anxious sum. Yeah, look at this. I think I may have done a video on this. Have I? I don't know. 
but this is number 65. Um, five issues after Spy vs. Spy's first appearance. How about this one? Oh, number 62. I love this cover. Special March Winds issue. Look at that. I know. I don't think I've done one on this. It's a great issue. Some Mort Drucker art. Some early Mort Drucker art before he really um, got into his own. Whose art is this? My, my. Bob Clark. Excellent. Here, is this uh, Berg? Is this, no, Joe Orlando. I thought maybe it could be early Dave Berg. Um, early Dave Berg is the best Dave Berg, in my opinion. Now, I don't want to go through the whole... Oh, this is Dave Berg right here. Yeah, you can see, look at him. I mean, he just has so much so much more to his style. This might, I think this might have to go into the pile of issues to go through. I gotta get bags and boards for these. I'm kind of ill prepared. Ah, oh, geez. There, I'll set those over there. Ooh, the little wooden puppet. Why am I doing this backwards? I don't know. Special spring training issue. Our price, 30 cents. I think this is probably right after a price increase. Oh, I had to be careful. That is a detached cover. Uh, take this doctor's advice. Get out there and boogie. Patronize your local disco tonight. The man. Oh, mad disco. A Jack Rickard cover. Should is the. Uh, is the record in here? No, I don't know. Sometimes it was at the front. Sometimes they would put it where the staple is. Nah, no, re no record. That's okay though. Because it's the content that counts. This is strange, though, because this doesn't seem like it's a super special. It's just disco. I'm not sure that I've seen this before. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Had I read, uh, I would see it. It would go right here. <laughs> Your 30-minute mad disco record. That's cool. All right. Wait, what is this? This is the back cover to something. I don't know what. Hopefully I can figure it out. But an early fold in. The worst from Mad. 50 cents. The ninth edition of the worst from Mad. Plus a special free bonus with wild new sound. Alfred E. Newman vocalizes on a real 33 and a third RPM record. Probably not, right? Probably doesn't have it, but... Lovely Paul Coker. That's Mort, right? Yeah, of course that's Mort. Look at this. I don't know who did this art, but it's beautiful. Mad Beastlies by Paul Coker. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll be a fun one to go through, I think. Yeah, I don't... That disco one, I'm very interested in. All right. Oh, number 99. This might be the one that that one came with. Yeah, I think it is. The hypnotize. The hypnotic issue. You get that cool moire effect. Because they also had the lines making the, the horizontal lines on top of these circular ones coming out from his eye. I love this cover. It's probably, oh, I don't know. I feel every single cover I say is like, oh, this is in my top five, top ten. Wanted new reader with a revolting sense of humor. No intelligence. Apply within. Sorry, I think I think there are a fair amount of these that I don't even have. I've got to be careful with some of these that are uh, the covers falling off. The cover falling off, you know, it's. <laughs> oh, oh my 
my god. <laughs> uh, you know, what can you say about this? Except that it really... <laughs> oh, man. Except it didn't age well, right? I mean, that's what you can say about it. But it's also, uh, it's also just wonderful. You'll look, wherever you go, you'll look better in an arrow shirt. This is, uh, this has something that I really like, which is um, a kid. Kid is drawn on it with like a little ballpoint pen. So yeah, they've just sort of like all those open spaces, right? I kind of like that. It like, it sort of tells a story. Um, ooh, here we go. The fourth annual edition of More Trash for Mad, a sickening collection. Sing Along with Mad, parody songbook. I wonder who wrote that. Oh, and it has the songbook. Very cool. Oh, look at that same kid drew little goatees. You know you're not being a funny enough writer when kids are drawing goatees on the pictures. Look at that. This is cool. They have all of these super specials have so many cool, um, have all these cool little inserts and they're just, I want them all. Oh, if you're wondering, I, from my news video, I know. <laughs> Look at that. Frank Sinatra with a mustache. They got, got one with Jack Parr. Got one with Dean Martin. You can't really add much to Fidel, can you? Look at this kid went nuts with the uh, with the goatees. This is hilarious. I love this. Um, oh, wonderful, wonderful. This is. I have to say uh, thank you so much to Noah Van Skyver. I really appreciate this. Um, it, it, thank you for your generosity. It it does mean a lot to me. And uh, if you want to see any of these flipped through in a uh, in a upcoming video, uh, just let me know. Let me know what you want me to flip through, and we can put it on the docket. Um, again, I oh, I have to switch back over to let's switch to web browser. Um, Okay, so there is, please don't step on my Jinko jeans. Now, I did sort of bury the lead here. It's $15, but it is out of stock, and you can uh, get notified when it's re available again. If you buy from Fantagraphics, it comes with an autograph from Noah Van Skyver. But, listen, I, I know a guy, and I got the hookup, all right? And uh, the hookup is right here on Amazon. Um, there is... Uh, Right here, please don't step on my Jinko jeans paperback. Add to cart. It's available. It is available. What, honey? Cut it out. It is available right now uh, on Kindle and Comixology. No, thank you. Um, but you can get it in paperback. So that's pretty awesome. And so if you can't get it from Fantagraphics, I mean, I don't know if you get the um, uh, autograph on this one, but hey, it's better than maybe not getting it at all because I think there is a limited print run. I could be wrong. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Oh, wait. Hey, if you want to send me something, uh, hit me up. I'll give you my address. <laughs> How scummy is that? Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, toodaloo.